Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be looking at six things that your character actually does faster in Grand Theft Auto Online than they do in single player and in story mode. And I found this to be really cool. And this wouldn't be the first time we've taken a look at some of the differences between online and single player. In fact, there's a lot of location differences, mainly due to the fact that Online has had a handful of DLCs and single player has had really none unless you include the addition of content that was added when the game was introduced on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And online has had new buildings and all types of DLCs with various businesses. So in online, we see things like new apartments and underground bunkers and a brand new casino. Single player obviously has none of that. And there's also a lot of other minor things, like for example, in single player, you can get busted instead of just wasted by the police. You can't do that in online. So needless to say, there's a lot of little differences that makes the world a whole lot different. And today we'll be looking at, again, six things that are completely different. So this is coming from a user, Rolsha2282 on the GTA forum site, who said that there are a couple of things in Grand Theft Auto Online that are sped up. And these are the things he's talking about. And everything above 1.0 is sped up. So let's look at those right now. So they all start with multiplayer and then end with rate modify value. And then you can see the number there. So the first one is climb stand rate, which has a value of 1.2. Climb running rate, which has a value of 1.275. Climb clamber rate, which has a value of also 1.275. Enter exit jack vehicle rate is at 1, so that's the same. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Ladder rate modifier is 1.4. Reload rate is 1.5. Cover intro rate is also 1.5. And then multiplayer idle turn rate is also 1.0. So even though there's eight things there, because some of them are 1.0, they are the same in single player. However, for a quick example, reloading since it is 1.5, is 50% faster in online than in single player. And we'll take a look again at all of those briefly. So let's start at the very top and begin with climb stand rate. Now I'm doing my best to assume this is what these lines of code are talking about. So I'm just kind of going based off of the name and what it sounds like, but climb stand rate sounds like how fast you climb from a standstill. And in Grand Theft Auto Online, this is 20 times faster. So I have a couple of different theories on why Rockstar actually did this. The first theory is that Rockstar wanted to make our single player protagonists, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, all have their own individual ways of walking, climbing, running, doing things. In fact, the voice actors and motion capture artists for all three of those characters even confirmed that Rockstar sort of put their own little twist on things. Like, for example, Ned Luke, who plays Michael, ended up gaining 20 pounds just to play the role, to make it seem like he was a retired bank robber who had gone south a little bit. And also, Ned Luke was actually deaf in one of his ears, so a lot of times throughout the story when someone's talking to him, you'll see his character turn his head towards the character a little bit more intensely so that he can actually hear them a little bit better. So small quirks like that were probably given to our single player characters. And because of that, we don't have that in online. And I'm guessing what Rockstar wanted to do with GTA Online is they wanted to make our characters not have any traits of like a voice actor because obviously everyone is different. And we're not specifically playing the role of Michael DeSanta or Franklin Clinton or Trevor Phillips. We're our own individual characters. And so because of that, I'm sure Rockstar wanted to make every single person sort of a default. And that's probably why we see these differences. And number three, they might have wanted to make Grand Theft Auto Online feel a little bit quicker. So in single player, there's a lot of things that slow down the game. Cutscenes, uh, using the character's special abilities will slow down the game. That doesn't happen in Grand Theft Auto Online. When you hit the pause menu, the game doesn't pause. Um, you know, you don't have any special abilities or anything like that. And maybe they wanted to give the characters kind of like a Superman vibe to them, like doing things just a little bit quicker so that the gameplay didn't feel boring or monotonous. 
But anyways, that's the first one right there. Climb stand rate just from a standstill. And you guys can tell again the difference between single player and multiplayer. When you see them like side by side, back to back, you really can't actually tell the difference. That's kind of cool. The next one is climb running rate. And again, I had to assume that this was climbing something after you've just finished sprinting or you're sprinting and you climb something at the same time. And this is actually 27.5% faster in online than it is in single player. And again, I would imagine the reason Rockstar did this is because they wanted our characters to be able to jump over things quicker, make the gameplay faster. Honestly, in real life, like if you were to go about doing some of these things, our online characters do them so much faster. It's ridiculous. Like the rate at which they can do things are pretty crazy, but that is climb running rate. The next one, I really wasn't sure what it was. It was climb clamber rate. And I thought this had to do with like how our characters jump when they're running. Like if you're sprinting and you hit jump at the same time, you'll sort of do this like run, hop, jump. That's also set at 27.5% faster in online. But I really wasn't too sure what this one was. So if you have a better idea, please be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Again, we'd love to hear from you guys down there. I am definitely a noob when it comes to looking at like lines of code like this in the gameplay files. So uh, again, you can let us know in the comments down below. One thing that is the same in single player and multiplayer is exiting and entering a vehicle that you have actually stolen. So it's enter exit jack vehicle rate. And it's kind of the same in single player and online. Now, some characters like Franklin will actually do like specific car robbing moves since he's the car guy where he won't necessarily have to break the window with his elbow and he doesn't necessarily have to hotwire it either. So it's a little bit different for the single player characters, but as you guys can see here, it pretty much happens the exact same way in multiplayer and single player. So that is entering and exiting a stolen vehicle. The next one looks like how fast you climb up a ladder and in multiplayer, it's 40% faster than in single player. And even the multiplayer character is like booking it up these ladders. He's going like two of the ladder rungs at a time. And this, I think, is by far one of the most unrealistic things. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have cl like climbed up a ladder recently, or maybe you do it every single day, but it's hard. It's like definitely not easy. And those guys are going ridiculously fast. Like, imagine if you slipped doing something like that. So, they're basically like Assassin's Creeding up these ladders. Like they're going ridiculously fast. It's a little bit more realistic in single player. I mean, 40% faster is a lot, but it is not the quickest thing that our online characters do versus single player. That is actually reloading weapons. That's right. Reloading a weapon is 50% faster in online than in single player. And again, I imagine the reason Rockstar did this is because they wanted the gunfights and the action to feel a little bit more fast paced. And if you were spending like four or five seconds at a time reloading your gun, players might not find that all that interesting. And because of that, it might sort of turn them off from doing stuff like this. So that's why I imagine Rockstar made the reload rate really quick. Also, there's a lot of weapons that have like huge magazine sizes. So maybe they figure they have to speed it up. So that when you reload a big magazine, it, it seems kind of normal. Again, who really knows? The next one that's also 50% faster is going into cover. So this would be like hitting right bumper or R1 to like crouch behind a wall or like a parking barricade or something like that. And I think the big reason for this is in single player, again, all three of the characters kind of do it in their own ways. Like Michael sort of like shuffles to whatever he's hiding behind and then like quickly crouches down. Trevor's a little bit more direct. Franklin is like always crouching. So again, I think this is because the single player characters, they wanted to make a little bit more unique and have like their own animations online. Again, it's a lot faster. And another thing I really didn't consider, it might've been obvious, but maybe it's because there's other players interacting with you. Obviously in single player, you're the only one there. Multiplayer, you encounter other people. So maybe they have to do it to make it a little bit more fair. I'm not sure. And the last thing that doesn't have a difference is multiplayer idle turn rate. And I thought this is what happens when you don't touch your controller for a little bit, where your character just starts like peering around in first person to either cars going by or pedestrians walking by. Again, I really wasn't sure what this line of code was, but I would have to imagine that's what it is. But it's the exact same thing in single player and in online. 
But anyways, that right there is six things that your characters do in GTA Online faster than how things are done in single player. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Did you know about this? I found this to be like a cool little quirk. And now it's something that I'm definitely going to notice. Like when I'm climbing up ladders, when I'm reloading, I'm like, whoa, I'm doing this a little bit faster than in single player. So again, let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.